Hey guys, Arctic here, and today I'm going to bring you guys a video on how to get my render settings, you know, because uh, I've changed them since last time I showed them on my other channel. It's been quite a while, lots of things have changed, so I decided, you know what, let me go ahead and show you guys. So you're going to want to start out by opening up your Vegas program. I use Sony Vegas 11. 12 is quite similar to this, and so is 10, so everything should be around the same place. If you don't have Vegas 11, some of this stuff may be uh, a little harder to find, but, you know, it's going to be in around the same areas. So, um, wait real quick. Well, this loads up. I'll start a, start a, what's it called, program, a new one. Um, one quick tip. If you're going to be making videos, I suggest you make files that are going to be your templates so that you can, you know, always have whatever you're going to keep there. So, for me, I just have my intro there, but it saves me that, like, 10 seconds in going and getting your intro. So... Before we start all this, so you can see, you're going to want to, you know, grab some gameplay, whichever gameplay you have, you know, you're just going to want to grab some gameplay and uh, throw it on there. Uh, ooh, I don't remember this one. All right. <laughs> all right. So you got some gameplay on there. If your computer is not super good, you might want to... Uh, you know, turn some of this stuff off. But first, if you have any blank bars at all, top, bottom, left, right, this is what you're going to want to do. You're going to, this is what I do at least. There's two ways to do this. You can do right click properties, disable resample, and, uh, well, not disable resample, but maintain aspect ratio, turn that off, and, um, a lot of the time that will fix your problem. There you go. There's no more black bars after that, so you don't really have an excuse to have them. Or, you can, um, go into here and do it here. You can just, uh, click event pan crop. It's this, this button right here, click event pan crop, go in here, turn that off, or one more way, you go to switches and take it off there. So there's multiple ways to do that. I'm just showing you which whichever one's going to be better for you. Okay, now let's get into smart resample. Now smart resample is, I believe this is the reason why smart resample is there. Smart resample is there for people who get lower FPS than desired. If you're running at 45 FPS or lower when recording, you're going to want to keep on smart resample. If you're running at like, you know, recording at 100 FPS, recording at that stuff, there's no need for smart resample because what it does is create frames in between, it creates like a picture in between two frames that will smooth out, you know what I mean? So say you go from one position to the next position, it'll put a little, a blurred picture in the middle and it'll make it smoother, right? But if you're running at a high FPS, you don't need those two frames to be filled in. So it really just depends on what you're doing. But for me, you know, I don't need this because my stuff runs fine anyway. And you might see it's lagging here. That's because it's on good. You might want to change it down to preview. And if quick tip, if you're wanting to see a part of your video before you render out, you can go up here, click right above your track and click shift B and it'll do a pre-render for you. You know, it'll go through it and it'll render that section so you can watch that section smoothly each time you want to. So let's get into the render settings. So you're going to go file, render as, this is what you're going to do to get your render settings. You're going to want to go under main concept AVC. And I'm not necessarily, these are the best render settings for size, but these are, I find, one of the best quality render settings. So you're going to go, you're going to, what you're going to do is you're going to probably going to click internet HD, but I already have a template available, but click internet, click this internet HD 1080p. Uh, and go to customize template. I already have one, so I'll show you guys what's in it. And you're going to want, you might want to pause the video, but you're going to want to, all of this stuff, you're going to want to just copy it down, right? You're going to want to copy, uh, you know, I'm not sure exactly what's changed. It's not too much change, but no, there's certain things as in this bit rates. I have 24 million by 14 million. That's a little higher than usual. You're going to want to use render using CPU only. And I only say this because a lot of the time your video won't render because it's on automatic. So keep, put on render using CPU only. Uh, progressive download. There's my audio. I'll keep that up for one more second. And all this stuff you can just copy down by pausing your video. And there's a video render quality, all that stuff. So it's pretty simple. But before you click OK, go up here, change the name from Internet HD to whatever you want. See, mine's on 1080p, and click OK. Now, if you're going to do this for 1080p, you're gonna want to um, start out right here. You know, you're gonna want to start out with your 720p instead of 1080p and change all the stuff to be the same right here. So those are my render settings. Um, it's pretty simple once it renders, this won't take too long, but it's gonna give you an MP4 file, which is not super small. But uh, now I wanted to get into a little color correction. Now, I'm not exactly gonna share you share with you guys my color correction because it is my secret and I would not like to share it. But I will show you guys 
kind of how you can get close to it. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull on your, your uh, you're going to go over to color correction right here in your video effects tab and you're going to click, you know, default, you're going to pull it on your track and then I have a yellowish red. Yellowish red is where I am, right? So you're going to want to mess with this, you know, and, t and not too much guys. Like I see people making too much. You're going to want to go about this much, you know, barely, barely, a barely any. you know looking for a color you're looking for it's gonna be slight changes and then this is what I do you go over the set this is a big part of it go to saturation raise your saturation until you start to see a difference and then raise your bright your gamma and you're gonna this is more green mine's more yellowish red but you know you guys get the point you're looking for something that's gonna make it that's gonna change it from being the normal you know colors of CA into a higher quality color so say you, I don't know say this is it right this is a little too much saturation but you know say this you can see the difference by uh, you can go into your effects real quick and uncheck it and checking it you can see the difference here see certain things will look much better that looks pretty good here but on different parts there's a little too much saturation on that one but just play around with that guys until you get what is desired and then put it on there and trust me guys when you put the right color correction on it will take your quality to another level so after all of that there's a new step that I do take sometimes if the video is under over 400 megabytes which it will be sometimes you're gonna want to install a program named handbrake now handbrake is um you know, a special little program, but the websites like handbrake.ro or something weird, I'll put it in the description. But what handbrake does is you go to source video file, pull up a video, you know, that you want to put in there. So you're going to pull up a video. Uh, all right. You're going to want, I do it every time. I don't really have a template set yet, but I go to normal, go over to video, set this to 25, go back to picture. Um, this one is an original quality. That's why it's so big. By the way, if you want to get the original quality emblem, that's how right there. Instead of going 1080p, go like that. So you're going to want to go over here, strict all this stuff, and then click start. You're going to want to choose a save place first. Click start, and it will turn your, it will split your video in half. And I'll give you guys a quick example of a video that has been split in half. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'll have like hand break next to it. I'll put break next to it. There you go. Black Ops MP7. You see this? 617 megabytes, right? All the way down to 182. So that it it can get, you know, drop that stuff really quickly. And I would show you guys the video comparison, but it's kind of hard to measure it out. But it is so similar. So I just want to show you guys like, you know, what the color correction can do here. You see this video is um out in original, uh, original quality, and this is about what the quality is gonna look like, guys. Uh right here. There's a chance they might screw it up. There's there's nothing right now in Black Ops smooth, 2 that is killing you know, Black And you can see, you know, the colors are really nice right here. Here, I'll show you guys another one, another example. The, uh, am I part of the... Uh, real quick. So, you know, you're gonna get, you're gonna get pretty premium quality here, guys. And it looks, it looks really nice, guys. This is like the best I've ever come up with out of a long amount of time. I don't really like to use other, pe other people's stuff, but I know a lot of people do. So, you know, that's what this is for to show you guys, you know, how to how to do that kind of thing, how to do other people's stuff right there. So, I mean, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Um, I hope I answered all of your questions. Be Feel free to ask any questions here in the description. You know, once you're done with this, you're going to go to file, render as, type in whatever you want, wherever you're going to put it, that render, bang, there you go. And make sure this is unchecked, render loop region. But yeah, after that, it's pretty simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I would very much appreciate if you leave a like and comment if this helped you. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Arctic, signing out.